Today I'm going to talk about crater slips and crater glazes. So this vase is right now in the leather hard state and I'm going to paint a slip on it. So that today's demo, I'll be talking about doing it with a slip, but I'm also going to be in class talking later about the actual crater glazes that exist too. Okay. So as crater slips or glazes, you use silicon carbide. And what happens to the silicon carbide is it fires, it bubbles up and creates craters on the surface of your piece. I also use a volcanic ash that I've tested that does the same thing. So I actually mixed the two today. And that's what I've done with this slip. So this slip normally is a white slip, but I've added the volcanic ash and the silicon carbide. And usually to one of these containers of slip, I add a spoonful of each. And then I just paint it on just like a regular slip as I go. And anywhere I paint it, as it fires, the silicon carbide is going to do outgassing and it's going to bubble and it's going to become part of the surface. So later on, I'll show you guys this piece fired and I'm going to take it up to the higher temperature, to cone 8 versus lower temperature. But we will also be talking about crater glazes in the Raku temperature range and we'll be talking about crater glazes at a higher temperature too. I actually normally don't worry about making glazes at crater. I usually just add material to my slip to make them crater versus glazes. But we will be covering both. You get different sizes of, of craters by the different principles. So you'll hear of a whole family of glazes with names like moon glaze because it looks like the surface of the moon when it's fired. And that's a very common raccoon, raccoon one. Uh, this is similar to lichen, but the lichen is the material pulling away. The crater glazes are and crater slips are outgassing a material. So I usually put two layers of this on to the piece and then once it fires we'll see what color it gets. Usually it, this will probably go uh, gray to black and it'll have all these bubbles permanently as part of the outside. Uh, the other way to think about it is I already think of if you've ever played with volcanic rocks that are really bubbly with a lot of outgassing in them that's what this is going to look like. So that's just the basics with crater glazes and crater slips.